The Book of Revelation, Chapter 6 Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. Another horse, fiery red, went out, and it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth, and that people should kill one another, and there was given to him a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature, saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And the name of him who sat on it was Death, and Hades followed with him. And the power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer, until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren, who would be killed as they were, was completed. I looked when he opened the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth, as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? The Book of Revelation, Chapter 7 After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed. One hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Of the tribe of Judah, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Simeon, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, twelve thousand were sealed. Of the tribe of Benjamin, twelve thousand were sealed. After these things I looked, and behold, a great multitude, which no one could number, of all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and the elders and the four living creatures, and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom, thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen.
Then one of the elders answered, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes, and where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation, and washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they are before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell among them. They shall neither hunger any more, nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them, and lead them to living fountains of waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 20 Wine is a mocker, strong drink is a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. The wrath of a king is like the roaring of a lion. Whoever provokes him to anger sins against his own life. It is honorable for a man to stop striving, since any fool can start a quarrel. The lazy man will not plow because of winter. He will beg during harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim each his own goodness, but who can find a faithful man? The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. The king who sits on the throne of judgment scatters all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Diverse weights and diverse measures. They are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Even a child is known by his deeds, whether what he does is pure and right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will be satisfied with bread. It is good for nothing, cries the buyer, but when he has gone his way, then he boasts. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take the garment of one who is surety for a stranger, and hold it as a pledge when it is for a seductress. Bread gained by deceit is sweet to a man, but afterward his mouth will be filled with gravel. Plans are established by counsel. By wise counsel wage war. He who goes about as a talebearer reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with one who flatters with his lips. Whoever curses his father or his mother, his lamp will be put out in deep darkness. An inheritance gained hastily at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, I will recompense evil. Wait for the Lord, and He will save you. Diverse weights are an abomination to the Lord, and dishonest scales are not good. A man's steps are of the Lord. How, then, can a man understand his own way? It is a snare for a man to devote rashly something as holy, and afterward to reconsider his vows. A wise king sifts out the wicked, and brings the threshing wheel over them. The spirit of a man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the inner depths of his heart. Mercy and truth preserve the king, and by loving kindness he upholds his throne. The glory of young men is their strength, and the splendor of old men is their gray head. Blows that hurt cleanse away evil, as do stripes the inner depths of the heart.